Hi fans, um, now today we're doing organic paints. So, so I'm going to show you a few colours. We've got a lovely ye lemon yellow here. Uh, this is from Coloured Earth Pigments, and this, um, which is a shop in Wales, which you know, glad, you know, good to glad to keep the Welsh flag, eh? And um, so yeah, so because I like to keep, I like to get produce of you know which are in the UK or you know Wales based basically. Um, now this is straight from the earth. It's non toxic as well, so you know it's not gonna harm you as you you know breathe it in. Um, obviously if you were using a lot of it at the same time, you know, perhaps, or for example, if you suffered, say, with asthma, then I think it would be best, you know, to have a mask again, you know, to keep safe and that. Um, the, re the reason I like using this stuff is because it's natural, you know, there's no chemicals in this. And, um, and I just love the colour. I mean, this is another colour as well, which always is like a lavender. So that's another colour we got there as well. And as you can see, you get so much of it as well. You know, so much. So that would last, you know, last you a good, a good while. So I've done a little bit of a tester here. So basically, I, I've um, got um, a spoonful, a little, put a little bit on my spatula of the pigment. And also I've added cold pressed um, rapeseed oil. Now, the, um, this is good to make oil paints because this is effectively what we're doing is making an oil paint. And as you can see by there, um, as you can see how it goes on paper, it's lovely and thick like oil paint. But the beauty is you haven't got the chemical chemicals which you will find in most um, oil paint, you know, in most shops. So, so I'm going to show you how we did it. So basically, let's get let's get some yellow. So I'm going to get some yellow here. Open the tub. Now I used about. I would say I used about four, four big spoonfuls like that, you know, to um, you know, get a nice amount. Three or four, I would say. That's just about enough. Uh, maybe a little bit more for luck, as they always say. So as you can see, that I mean that is quite a lot of pigment. I think I mean to be honest, you actually don't need a huge you don't need a huge amount because the colours you can see is so vibrant, you know, that you actually don't need a lot. But I'm using a bit more just to really show you. So what we do, we get the coat rapeseed oil and we put it on top of the paint like that. Um you gotta be a little bit quick before your rapeseed oil basically um uh, goes over. But um so basically you just start mixing that around and again if you haven't quite got enough oil which I think you know you just basically move it around so I think I'm gonna add a bit more actually because say so it is a bit of a messy job but you know me I love to get messy I think you basically got that off got that pretty much off me now so again you can see that slowly going into the pigment so it's basically you just scoop it up with your spatula and you just scoop it up like that and also as you're thinking it because again you know I always like to add an art therapy into this as you're scooping the paint up you know think you know think about you know what are the good things which are in your life you know what what things bring you joy in your life and also in what things don't bring you joy because you know we I always sort of compare it to a cocktail really you know it's like you know what ingredients are you putting in that cocktail you know to make a good cocktail or not so much of a co good cocktail so there's a bit of art therapy to think about as well and you know and 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 all, all while you can see this is really starting to thicken up now as well this is really starting to look like oil paint which is just gorgeous so yeah so that's a bit of art therapy that I want you to think about as you know as you're mixing the paints um, one thing when you are choosing your pigments it's very important to make sure that you know they are free from child labor you know so when you so any website you're getting them from and um, fair trade so you know any website you're getting them on make sure that they are fair trade you know, because that's very important, you know, because obviously, 
you know we you know we want them you know we want them to come from you know be mine you know come from a natural source and so yeah make sure there's a good ethnic background to it basically ethical a ethical background definitely thank you <laughs> um have you got any more thoughts on the art therapy um i was just thinking of like a coaching metaphor where you know as you say you, you've put the pigments and you've mixed it with the oil and as you can see the pigments are really thickening up so if we look at the pigments without oil they look a bit flat and they look a bit lifeless but you've added the oil and there's such a vibrancy to the color so it makes me think of like a coaching quest you know what is being added into your life that is that is like oil binding you together holding you together as a person bringing you thickening you up adding that life adding that vibrancy you know what's turning you from that lifeless powder into that beautiful purposeful I don't want to say sludge because that doesn't sound so purposeful oh, but paint there we go that's the word I was looking for oil that paint. lovely purposeful <laughs> oil paint there we go yeah thank you for that yeah that is a really good point that is as I said there, there's just so much of you know so much therapy coaching that you can put into art I think when you really think about it you don't realize how much there is until you just sit there and think about it really okay so yes, yeah, so we got a nice bit of more insight there. So as you can see, this is just so so nice. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna put this into the onto the page now, and I'm I'm gonna yeah see if we can um so you could depending on what effect you want because for example if you just want to put it so literally you just put it on the edge of your knife like that. I don't know if you can see, and then literally you can just scrape it across like that. And as I said, there's just so many different things you can do. So, see, I've made it textured one side. Well, okay, let's just literally just make it completely smooth the other side. So we sort of get different effects here. So there's just so much you can do so and then perhaps we can make it again more textured here and when to make textured you get a spat spatula and you literally press it against the paper so let's get some more here I'm gonna try mixing some colors because I think that would be fun as well as I said I will do um because I there are there are, is going to be another part to this um as well um which will basically um i'm going to show you how we could possibly make this into watercolor as well so i'm getting another color now because i just want to see how this looks and oh that i don't know guys that is such a vibrant gorgeous color it really is so i'm going to get a different spatula so let's add some lovely blue because i want to see how this goes against the yellow there we go Okay, so let's move our yellow to the side. As I said, I am going to try mixing it up, but let's just try the blue on its own first. So we use some more rapeseed oil. Uh, uh, uh. We got just under a minute left. Right, okay guys. So yeah, we're just going to um, mix this up a bit. Yeah, I think we need a bit more. Okay, yeah, we definitely got enough now. No, I don't go anywhere. So again, yeah, be yeah. Oh wow, yeah. You can see that color, guys. That is beautiful. Wow. You can see that is that is actually turning. Wow, that's turning darker. But it actually, um, actually that color there. That's interesting. That is mm. very interesting. Mm. So again. Let's put it on there. And actually, if you mix the two colours together, that makes it like a green colour. Funny enough, I was thinking green. Yeah. 